In this video, two types of data, categorical and numerical, and their characteristics will be discussed. Knowing data types and their properties are important because it will help us to analyze and interpret value variables correctly. The data are classified into two general types. The first type is categorical or qualitative data, and the second type is numerical or quantitative data. Of course, there is a third category which is neither categorical nor numerical. This data type is the date. Categorical data has two subcategories, nominal and ordinal. Numerical data is classified into interval and ratio subcategories. The basic distinction between these two types of data is that regular arithmetic calculations can only be used with numerical data. In other words, it makes no sense to do arithmetic on categorical or qualitative data. The nominal data type is just a name or label that is assigned to the values of a variable. For example, the name of the states or gender is a nominal variable. Sometimes it is much easier to use numerical codes called dummy variables to represent nominal values rather than labels. For example, states in the United States can be coded from 1 to 50 and gender can be coded with 0 and 1. However, we should keep in mind that dummy variables are just numeric codes and doing arithmetic on dummy variables does not produce meaningful results. The other characteristic of nominal data is that no natural ordering can be defined between values of a variable. Ordinal data is a subcategory of the categorical data. When there is an ordering of categories, that variable is called ordinal. For example, in a survey on the quality of the internet service, subscribers can choose one of three options, satisfied, neutral, and dissatisfied. With ordinal data, we know that there is a difference between values, but we don't know how much. For example, satisfied, is much better than neutral in a survey of the quality of the internet service. But how much better is not clear. Interval data is numeric data that has all the properties of ordinal data and in addition to that the interval between values can be measured numerically. For example, a student's SAT score of 450, 500 and 550 can be ranked from lowest to highest and the interval between these values can be measured numerically. Its drawback is that it does not have a clear definition of zero. For example, zero Fahrenheit does not mean no temperature. Ratio data have all of the properties of the interval data. It also addresses the drawback of the interval data type by defining a zero value. For example, weight is a ratio variable, so a weight of 4 grams is twice as heavy as a weight of 2 grams. However, a temperature of 10 degrees of Fahrenheit should not be considered twice as hot as 5 degrees of Fahrenheit because it is ordinal. Now let's look at an example to practice data types. This data set contains the result of a survey on the quality of internet service. It has 7 variables and 20 observations. Variables are listed in columns which include person number, age, gender, state, children, salary, and opinion. Observations are numbered from 1 to 20 in rows. Now let's look at the variables to see what their data types are. The first variable is person, which is a numeric label for identifying those who participated in the survey. Even though it looks to be numeric, the person variable is nominal, which is a categorical data type. The second variable is age, which has three categories, young, middle age, and elderly. So this variable is ordinal data with three categories. The third variable is gender, which is nominal. It has been coded with numeric values of 0 and 1. The next variable is the state, which is again a label. So the state is nominal 2. Children and salary are both ratio data. And the last variable, opinion, is ordinal with five categories. 